If you do not want to know what happens in the second episode of the second season of The Owl House, Escaping Expulsion, do not watch this video. This is a warning. Take heed. If you keep watching, you will see what happens in the second episode of the second season of The Owl House, Escaping Expulsion, which has not hitherto had a wide release as of the release of this video. You've been warned. All right? All right, let's go. Since Amity's crush on Luce became apparent about midway through the first season of The Owl House, fans have been constantly wondering whether Luce feels the same way about Amity. In season one, there were not very many clear signs that she did. She appeared rather oblivious. Even as Amity's affections became increasingly apparent to us, the viewer. There has been a lot of fan art that has exaggerated this to a comical degree, with Amity performing all these grand romantic gestures only for Luce to take it as nothing but friendship. But those pieces of fan art, while some of them were funny, they were not particularly accurate. Luce is not oblivious. She's not dense, she's not a fool, she's a kid who is trying to navigate a lot of complicated feelings, and she is awkward, and she's always kind of off in her own little world. She is very eccentric, not in a bad way, but in a way that means she doesn't always know exactly how other people are feeling at all times. Nonetheless, she is far from immune to thinking of Amity in this more romantic light, and the second episode of the second season of The Owl House confirms this. We see her blush at Amity. We see that Amity's affections for her are returned. When Amity saves her from Amity's callous, manipulative parents, especially Amity's mother, Adelia Blight, Luce blushes. This is not ambiguous. This is very clear, and it can only be reasonably read one way. There is no lingering uncertainty here. There is nothing particularly subtle, as though to drive home the point even more, when Luce and Amity then fight together. They look at each other, blush very red, and then look away, hoping perhaps that the other doesn't notice how attracted they are to each other. Amity, of course, goes bright red. Luce is a little subtler, but not by much. Her cheeks become very crimson. To the extent that they become so focused on these feelings that they have to kind of set that aside for a second so they can focus on the fight ahead of them. Those feelings are that intense. There is no mistaking any of this for platonic affection. It's worth noting that Luce demonstrates attraction to Amity not just because Amity saves her, but because of how Amity saves her. It is possible that Luce had these feelings for Amity for a while, that they were building for a while, but this is where they become apparent, so it is worth looking at what exactly draws those feelings out. Amity is in the darkness. Her eyes pierce through the shadows. Her cape billows out behind her. She leaps from the rafters, down between the monster and Luce, saying, Stay away from my Luce. My Luce. Amity is not subtle. She is very clear that she has these very strong feelings for Luce. That she feels very protective for Luce in a romantic way. It's an elegant, majestic display of power and grace and elegance. Luce, of course, is very prone to engaging in these displays of heroism. She very much admires sex displays. In the start of both season one and season two, we see her recreating a scene she loves from her favorite fantasy books, the Good Witch Azora series. Amity is as heroic in as dramatic and elaborate a way as Luce is <coughs> when she's pretending to be Azura. But Amity also has something else. There's this subtlety to her movements. There's this glamour. There's this effortlessness. 
Luz does not have that. Luz is very headstrong. She runs straight into situations, trying to prove how strong and heroic and brave she is. As we see in Separate Tides, even when it is not the best decision. Amity is more sophisticated in a lot of ways. She can pull off these grand heroic displays while not making it seem like she's trying too hard. So she very much replicates Luce's idea of what a grand majestic gesture of passion and affection is while also adding to it an element of mystery and enigma that's really intriguing to Luce. So through this, the show makes you very aware of exactly why Luce is so attracted to her at this exact moment, why it is this particular display of amities that compels Luce to such a degree. And I love how it's animated too. Animation does a great job of conveying subjectivity without being too overt about it. It's a much more plastic and fluid medium. So we are very much seeing Amity as Luce sees her. Now, this does not necessarily mean Amity is not as heroic and graceful and elegant as she appears in this scene. She very much could be. But the point is that another character viewing Amity's performance here might not see it in as dramatic and glamorous a light. Lou sees it like this because she has a fondness for Amity and a fondness for these grandiose gestures. So we are very much seeing how this appears to her, and so we understand exactly why Luce is attracted to her to such a degree. Now, of course, none of this necessarily means a romantic relationship will necessarily develop between them in the future, but I would have a very difficult time believing that such a thing wouldn't happen. We know that there is attraction on both sides, and that is probably going to build in the coming episodes. I can't imagine they'd just go around for the rest of the series doing a cheap, cliched will they or won't they, because there wouldn't be as much drama in that, because we already know their feelings are mutual. So the question really becomes, when will they reveal these feelings? I don't suspect they will spend the rest of the season just blushing around each other, but not quite admitting what they want to say. That would be frustrating, and I don't really see the narrative benefit to that. I don't suspect that they know how each other feels at this point, at least not to the degree that they're aware of their own feelings. But I believe as the season progresses, they will become increasingly aware of how the other person feels. I think this could be a major function of the library episode. We get to see them growing closer. We get to see them spending a lot of time together while searching through this library in the fifth episode of this second season. I believe they will be forced to confront their feelings for each other, or at least recognize that the other person does feel these waves of attraction as well. Now, this does not necessarily mean that there will be some grand romantic confession by the end of the episode. I believe something of the sort will happen in Season 2, but perhaps not as early as Episode 5. However, I do believe these two will be brought into a heightened awareness of each other and a heightened awareness of each other's feelings and passions. These two already like each other a lot as friends. They're good for each other. They complement each other. And the show has hitherto provided no reason to assume that they wouldn't be great as romantic partners for each other. So I don't believe the show will spend a lot of time wrestling with these characters deciding whether they should act on their impulses. Considering that the only reason we've been given for them not to act on those impulses is because they're scared, they're nervous, as any teenager is, about revealing their affections. But we, the audience, know these affections are mutual, so we have no reason to believe, for example, that Amity would be shot down if she confessed her feelings to Luz. In fact, that would be really weird, considering that we know Luz feels the same way. But whatever happens to these two going forward, I love seeing them together. I love seeing them spend time with each other. 
They're good for each other. They care for each other. And I can't wait to see how that care and concern develops as the season progresses. They bring out what is best in each other. Amity at the start of season one was anxious and scared and trying to bury all her insecurities under this facade of nonchalance and arrogance and pretentiousness. Luz was the exact opposite. Just charged right into situations without really thinking about the effects her actions would have on others. She had a good heart, but that did not always translate to good results. But as they've spent time together, they've grown and evolved, and they've evolved together. Amity has learned a little from Luz to become more spontaneous, more assertive, more willing to do what she really wants to protect the people she cares the most about. Meanwhile, Luz has matured a little. She's still kind of headstrong and very determined at the expense of practicality at times, but she has a wider perspective on the effects her actions might have on those around her now. We see her really starting to think more critically about herself and her relationship with others. And because of this, I really can't wait to see how they will change when they continue to spend more time together and grow together. It's something I'm really excited to see in Season 2. So thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw today, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Donate to my Patreon if you can and you want to see more videos like this. Keep watching The Owl House. It's a great show, and I really can't wait to see where it goes from here. There's a lot of interesting options. Also, while so much of this episode focused on the Illumity dynamics in that episode, I do not want to give the impression that the episode is nothing but a long discussion on these two young people and their feelings for each other. It is a lot of that, but it's also a lot of analyzing Amity's relationships with her parents and the influence they have on her and whether she can act against that influence and what effects it would have on her if she does act against that influence. Can't wait to see what's going to happen next. Please watch the episode legally if you are able to. Anyway, tune in soon for my next analysis. It will be coming soon. Promise you that. Thank you all again. Adios, comrades.